I really don't think I was ready for the new year to start just yet. <laughs> Have I just got a really long neck? Honestly, I hate that skincare is so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's time to just have a little bit of a fresh start, do you know what I mean? Good morning, everybody. Morning. <laughs> Starting the new year off strong with a hangover. No, it's not so bad. It's a good day. The sun is shining and out. This is the first park we ever took Bronson to. So we've come back here today and it's actually such a nice park. I forgot because we only came here once, but it's so cute. And it's just a really nice way to start off the first day of the new year. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. We know that it can be a difficult time for people. So just sending loads of love. Oh, he's pooing. <laughs> and yeah, just wanted to wish you guys a really happy new year. I'm hoping that this year is a better year for everybody. I hope all your dreams and wishes come true. Just thought we'd start the day off on a positive note. Now that I'm outside, I'm feeling way better. Hey, as you guys can see, the Christmas tree is set up, so we're going to take that down today. It's time to just have a little bit of a fresh start, do you know what I mean? You haven't even seen the Christmas decorations. I did actually film like a vlog putting it all up, but I had some struggles with my vlogs that you would have just seen where I had to basically re-edit the whole thing. So I just didn't get that vlog out. Anyway, let's get the Christmas decorations down and then we need to kind of just figure out what the hell we're doing with this place because it's so boring right now. Rock it around, Christmas tree. If you let your gut down, baby, this is what I'll do. I'm not gonna lie, I really don't think I was ready for the new year to start just yet. <laughs> this is currently the state of me. Woke up this morning with a knee injury. No idea why, but it's pretty bad. So today we are doing some more editing. I finally managed to finish re-editing my nose job vlog which took so long but i'm so happy it's finally sorted so i just need to get that up as soon as possible but yeah today we're just going to do some at home stuff i guess i did want to shoot some content but impossible in that weather so an at home day it is i basically just need to do some admin stuff like call up the electricity company some more accountancy stuff emails also the seal on the washing machine's broken so i need to call about that as well so we're just gonna do admin stuff today all the christmas stuff is down it feels really empty but it also feels like a really nice fresh start so happy about that. Okay, three things that I need to show you. I haven't even opened them yet because, oh, I've been saving them. I've got a live audience here. I got a ring from Sammy's collaboration with Junk Jewels on Etsy. To be honest, I could have bought the whole collection, but uh, it's tax season this month. So I took it easy, but I'm sure I will invest in the rest of it at a later date. I've been thinking a lot about wearing mixed metals again and just more gold jewelry because I've been wearing a lot of silver. I'm obsessed with silver, I always have been. I did have a gold phase, but I feel like that's because I was just trying to find myself and I was like, this is what the cool girls are doing. But if I look back to my younger self, like I was obsessed with chunky silver jewelry in general. So yeah, in that aspect, I may have to switch this out for the silver one if, if it's possible. Otherwise I'm gonna just buy the other one as well. <laughs> How gorgeous is that packaging, first of all? It comes in this gorgeous little bag that I've just undone not on camera because i'm a rubbish vlogger and i just need to remember how to do this which is what 2024 is going to be all about is me getting good at vlogging again that's the packaging thanks bronson excuse me it's not for you bubs oi put your head down this is the ring it is so beautiful there's another ring that i want to stack this with from the collection now that i've got it on i'm like do i need it silver so i can just wear it with everything i think it looks really pretty in gold so maybe what i need to do is actually just start investing in some more gold pieces i don't know but i think i might have to get the silver one as well because it's just such a gorgeous ring and the great thing about this as well is it's adjustable so i don't have to worry about sizing which i'm rubbish with and i can just wear it on any finger i like but i feel like this will be an absolutely gorgeous ring to stack with i'm obsessed this package i've been 
been waiting for. So if you guys have seen me wearing this hoodie, this one's got a bonzo tree on the back. And then I've got another one with like a moon on the back. These are from the brand Alchemy, a brand that is owned by a YouTuber called MyFam. She's so young and I just think she's absolutely incredible she's got her head screwed on she's so smart she's so good at doing what she does like vlogging creating content and she's just so original for that reason alone i love to support her but the reason i buy these hoodies is i genuinely love the shape and the quality of them quite different to anything that I've been able to find. And so she's just recently dropped a black one. Everything you seek is within. Very like philosophical messaging. I love. I don't know if I said the brand's called Alchemy. So I think this is her first ever black hoodie. I've been waiting for this. I'm so excited. I thought I'd missed the drop as well, but thankfully I have not. So this one's just plain black. Well, kind of plain black. I've been looking for a nicely shaped black hoodie for ages and these hoodies are my favorite shape. On the back, it says your fear of looking stupid is holding you back this is just a mantra that i need to like try and remember to live by because i think this has been wonky the whole time i think over the last few years i've struggled a lot with like the fear of looking stupid or being made to look stupid or worrying about what other people think and i've kind of shrunken myself to fit other people's standards and stuff like that and it just needs to stop so this is going to be my reminder the only thing about these hoodies i think it's just because i'm maybe tall the hood is very <laughs> Have I just got a really long neck? Like, <laughs> why does it, why doesn't it go down? Maybe I've got really big shoulders. I don't know. That's the only thing. But the shape otherwise is unparalleled. I'm going to try the black one on. It's all about confidence. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm probably not showing you against the best background to be fair. What'd she say? Do you see the fit? Yeah. Yeah, I needed this. I'm obsessed. <laughs> the hood's still weird though. <laughs> Is it? Oh, that's, no. I think, I think my shoulders are just too low. To, I don't know. Mm, I feel like this hood's a bit bigger though. Like it's not as crazy looking. Super subtle branding on the front there. Anyway, I should probably take this off because I don't want to destroy it. Oh mate, the shape of these hoodies is just elite. It really is like, she killed it. One more thing that I want to share with you. In fact, let's take this to the bathroom. I'm not gonna lie, the work's been hectic. The bathroom's not been tidied, but I can try and hide it a little bit. That's the best angle we're gonna get right now. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. The last product is this Yves Lom Cream Cleanser. When I tell you that I am completely out, I literally scraped the barrel of that one, the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Butter, and my Elemis. Pro, what's it called? Pro Collagen Cleansing Bar. Well, you can see through it, but completely done. I don't know why. I know that I'm running out and I'll find any way to get the last scraps. And I, I don't know if I'm forgetting or if I just put off ordering another one. I do this every time and it's so annoying. Like the reason I went on to these two is because I'd run out of this one. These come in a close second. Like I love these as well, but this is like my ultimate favorite cleanser. It is a little bit pricey. Actually, I think it kind of works out the same. It's just this size is really expensive. I mean, my skin's a little bit spotty now because I've been neglecting my skincare a little bit. And I think also because I'm healing, like a lot of the time when I'm ill or healing from something, my skin breaks out. Don't be deceived by the box. The, the pot is way smaller. I wish it was the size of the box. I keep getting questions about my skincare. So I thought I would share that with you today because I think that that's genuinely my ultimate favorite. And I've been using it for the last two years. I just, oh, I absolutely love it. It removes makeup amazingly. It cleans my skin beautifully. It leaves my skin feeling really moisturized. I love the texture and the smell is so spa like that. This is the best smelling one that you will get hands down. I just want to show you how well this stuff works. It's an experience. It's not just like, oh, I'm just going to go clean my face. Like it's a whole experience. Like this has made me really enjoy removing my makeup, even when I really don't want to, like just knowing that I get to use this. Yeah. Nothing makes me happier than seeing a full jar. I always start off taking really generous bits and as I get closer towards the bottom of the barrel, I start getting really stingy with it. It's so funny. I just never want it to run out. I'm gonna change my hoodie because I can see this is already wet and I don't wanna fuck it up. I love this hoodie, but it's not really a vibe with the red hair. I just feel like a bit of a Christmas elf, do you know what I mean? Christmas is over, babes. <laughs> Let's turn that into a bun. Make sure you have it comes out. It's so thick and luxurious. It almost seems waxy, but then you melt it down in your hands. A lot of the time I'll use micellar water to remove my makeup first, just because I'm like super anal about it. I think it kind of grosses me out when I've got all the mucky makeup on my face, even though I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna cleanse again. I'm just weird about it, but I just wanted to show you guys. 
Okay, so you wet your hands. And then see how it goes like milky? Oh, it's quite sore on my nose still. Today actually marks one and a half months since my surgery. It's crazy how different my nose looks day to day. I feel like today it looks and feels a bit more swollen here. I mean, obviously I love it already so far, but it's crazy to think that it's still got loads of changes to go through. Also, it comes with like the muslin cloths. I don't really like those because my skin's really sensitive. I love these face halos. Get some hot water on there. Fully removes mascara, like everything. It's just the best. I also go in with the foaming cream cleanser. I like to double cleanse to make sure my skin is fully like thoroughly cleaned. There's only a few foaming cleansers that I like. This is my favorite. Usually foam cleansers are a no-go for me because my skin is just parched by the end of it. Obsessed with this. And I also really, really enjoy this one. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. And I was sent this in a little box from Space NK. So thank you guys so much. They sent me a few things that I'm absolutely obsessed with, actually, which I will share with you. But this, didn't think I'd like it. I was like, go on, I'll give it a go. Such a nice, like, smell that I'm not really accustomed to. I don't know what the smell is, but I love it. It's like this kind of jelly consistency, but again, super, super, super gentle. I think the other trick to having clear skin, first of all, is double cleansing, but also you need to actually really work the product into your skin and like really clean your skin. It's no good just putting it on, doing this and then rinsing it off. Do you know what I mean? I think I've seen a rule that said like 30 seconds minimum. To be honest, I don't know if I do it that long, but I try. Honestly, I hate that skincare is so expensive. I know that not everybody needs to use this and can get away with like other skincare, but if I don't use skincare with the right products and stuff in it, my skin is a mess. Like I'm not one of those people that can just use anything on their face, which is kind of gutting because I spend a pretty penny. But hey, let me say like, as much as I like to complain, I am more than happy to spend my money on skincare that works for me because there's never a time that I feel more confident than when my skin is clear. And I've had some really rough patches with my skin, like really rough patches. I don't even want to put photos or videos in because I'm like, it's not embarrassing. I don't know. It's just triggering to be honest. Sorry, by the way, if I'm snotty, my nose still feels really weird and I can't like blow it properly. Do the nightly nose taping. I've become like a pro at this. That was a really nice treat being able to wash my face with that cream cleanser again. It's been a while. I'm also obsessed with this. This is the Oskia London Restoration Oil. I can now finally put these in the bin. They've just been taking space on my bathroom counter. It's not good enough, babes. Do you know what I mean? It's quite late now, actually, so I will be chilling until further notice because I've, it's been quite a heavy work day today. Sunny, shiny. <laughs> oh, wow. What? Have you seen the pile? Look, the difference. You know, it's all happening. The pile. That big pile there. And then they've started building like a wall bit. No! Not only is it a beautiful sunny morning, it's cold, but the sun is shining, which makes me so happy. I'm sitting here editing. We just got some posts through. <laughs> My mum has sent me a 2024 French Bulldog calendar and it's so cute. And one of them looks like Pierre so much. This one right here. Even the white markings on his neck that's so crazy but after pj died my mum and stepdad made me a calendar with all photos of him like a yearly calendar like this so this is really funny i love this so nice thanks mum. i'm gonna call her now because that's just ridiculous i love it that's proper for a smile on my face <laughs> she probably won't answer as per usual and then call me back about two minutes later she's not replying well Bronson's the weirdest dog. He like comes and asks for affection and then when you go to like pick him up, he'll pull away. But he, all he wants is a cuddle. But you have to like force him. <laughs> Settled. He's such a weird dog. Like, he loves being loved on, but he doesn't like to admit it. Yep, it's bedtime for you. I'm 
making use of that little robot hoover because it's just sitting there and now I'm out of breath when I could just let it do the work for me and I could be getting out of breath in other ways like going to the gym get your mind out the gutter so yeah please next time you see me using that hoover just remind me that I've got a little robot vacuum thank you <laughs> Also, if you have a dog, don't bother with dark wood flooring. It's just constant work. It just always looks dirty, especially if you have a male dog that's still intact, if you know what I'm saying. Like, if you know, you know. Filth. Absolute filth. Okay, we're going to the gym to film some content. Woohoo! but I'm actually gonna get my first workout in as well today. I'm kind of nervous, but it's gonna be an upper body day, obviously, because my knee's not doing too good. I'm not ready for the soreness. It's been so long. I'm not ready to see the strength decrease. I'm not. It's not gonna be. But it's gonna be fine. You've got this. Yeah, it'll be fine. It has felt really good, actually, to have a break um, and just focus on, like, other things and actually just relax because I did do, like, a lot of running and training before, like, in the lead up to this, this break. Um, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> so I think I did need a rest and like emotionally as well. I just needed to like chill the fuck out. So yeah, I'm excited to see what happens, but I'm not gonna be like super harsh on myself. I'm gonna take it easy and understand that like, obviously I'm just getting back into it. So it's never gonna be how it was when I left off, but we're gonna get back there very quickly because muscle memory is a thing, my friends. Am I right? Yep. <laughs> oh, he's so Something aggressive. <laughs> wow. We've come to Juicy Street Warehouse to shoot some content. I'm working with Lululemon. So exciting. So I'm just getting some content for that right now. Um, we should be out soon, hopefully. And it's kind of in perfect timing. Not just because it's the new year, but I'm like just fresh out of my surgery. And I'm just about to start working out again. So it's like aligning perfectly. Here we are, just shooting <laughs> right, let's do that again. Yes, guys, that whole feast is for me. Sorry about the phone footage. I, quite frankly, am too hungry and too lazy to go downstairs and get my big old camera. So we are doing phone footage. Going back to my roots with a classic moule frite, kind of. It's not chips, but potatoes and mussels. This is something that I've loved since I was a kid. And I'm just so excited to eat it. All that food is for me. I'm so hungry. I forgot how hungry you get when you train. And let me tell you, it was difficult in the gym today. My back's already sore, I can feel it. And it, I usually don't get sore until the day after. And then my ultimate soreness will be the day after that. I'm already sore, so I know it's gonna be bad. But yeah, that is pretty much all for today. I'm just gonna, mm, garlic soy broccoli, guys. Too good. I basically just need to crack on with editing. And then I'm just chilling. We've started watching something called The Sister. It's so good so far. I do need to give you guys a book update as well, but I'll probably do that tomorrow. And we also, I can't even hold my phone up. My arm's aching so bad. I'm gonna enjoy this before it gets cold. Put something on the TV and I will catch up with you guys probably tomorrow. It's 7.30 in the morning. Sorry, but how dare it start raining? How dare it? It's meant to be sunny for like a week. Listen, yeah? Give it a rest, would ya? This guy's just 85 pounds, but I love it. I've just come back from a dog walk. I'm getting dressed, well, undress and then redress really quickly. We're in a bit of a rush. Also, nerves are kicking in because I've just posted my nose job blog. <laughs> so hopefully people are nice because I don't think I can cope with anyone being horrible to me right now. I don't know what to wear. We're going to do something really exciting today. I think I'm gonna go grey and khaki. I'm not sure if I've mentioned it yet on the vlog, but a few days ago I booked for us to do yoga together, but we've got to drive to Sheffield because it's a very special type of yoga 
one that I've wanted to do for ages. Basically, we are going to be doing yoga with a room full of micro bully puppies. I can barely contain myself, like I don't know how to act right now, but I'm so excited. <sighs> if I need to hurry up because we're running late. Um, but my boyfriend's also filming a self tape that he got last minute that he needs to send by this evening. So <laughs> we're both kind of just trying to get everything sorted. I've been to Pret already, so we've got some schnecks for the road trip. Oh, maybe you guys can see my scar actually. That is my scar from my nose surgery. I feel like it's healing really well, and by the time it goes light, it's barely going to be visible. Right, I need to hurry. Um, I don't know what to wear. I don't know whether to put... Mm. Do you know what? I need to invest in some like gym t-shirts tops because sometimes it is too cold to be just wearing like a little minimal sports bra like this. And then I'm going to put this hoodie right back on because I've basically not taken it off since getting it. Here he is, the man of the hour. Hello. Hi. I'm going to try not to talk about the puppies around him too much. He's going to smell it and feel betrayed later. Right, we're off. Like you have options. I take you options. Guys, we've arrived. I think we're just trying to find the place now. I don't think it is here. Have we gone past it? I'm so confused. It's so cold. This one loves you. You just come yes, yeah. bowling into the house. Which ones are still looking for? The grey ones. There's only the brown one and that one that you've got on there. <laughs> you shouldn't have told us that. <laughs> 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 you just biting and biting and biting. This one's coming up with us. Oh, is it him or her? Yeah, him. guys I didn't think we'd be leaving feeling slightly upset <laughs> you will have seen there was a little Frenchie there that we really bonded with and it was him and one other dog were the only two that weren't available <laughs> to, to, exactly they're actually available to take home I don't know if you take them home on the day but yeah he was unavailable and I think if he hadn't have been 
I think we would have had no choice. Right we now, would have maybe. had, yeah, we would have had no choice but to take him home. He was absolutely gorgeous. Like the moment we sat down on the mats, he just came bowling over to me, like, "Hey guys!" <laughs> Jumped up on me, was like kissing me. He got really comfortable with you. Started falling asleep on your lap, yeah. even though he wasn't sleeping for anyone. He was yeah, absolutely. Right, was on my leg. Yeah. Like that dog belongs to us. <laughs> It's such a good way of um, picking a puppy, yeah, because you really get to see how they behave. Like, there was a group of them that were just scrapping each other. They were literally, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it on the vlog footage, but they were <laughs> Oh my God, that was, I think that was one of the best things I've ever done. Genuinely. That dog, I can't. We were saying that him and Bronson would get on so, <laughs> so well. Yeah, they, they were so similar. Yeah, so cute. So yeah, slightly sad, but also it was the best thing ever. And I kind of feel high off the experience. And I overheard the yoga teacher saying that they've got English Bulldog puppies next week. So we might have to come back next week. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? It needs to happen. Yeah. It's not even a question, honestly. But I'll leave a link down below because I think they do them in London, Manchester, Leeds, Birmingham, Liverpool, Sheffield. So they're all over. It was honestly one of the most enjoyable experiences I've ever had. The only thing I would say is... Yeah. It was a, there was too many people for that size of room. Yeah, but nobody's really there for the yoga, come on. There was, <laughs> there was parts where I really was like wanting to get into the stretch, but my knee would have been on some girl's face. Yeah. I am really sad that we didn't get to, ooh, didn't get to take that doggy oh, home though. Wow. Guys, sorry, there's a sunset going on right now and it's absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong. You lost your mind when you dropped that bomb Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy I've been thinking lately Lately it's you You stole your peace Put it on me 